What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shanny's World. Welcome, new subscribers. Welcome, returning subscribers. We on vlog over day 18. Okay. So, listen, y'all. What we were supposed to be doing today. Hey. She got in the refrigerator tripping, y'all. What we was supposed to be doing today was making these cemetery brownies they sell at Walmart. But Walmart always seems to fail me. Now, y'all, I don't have my receipt. I have nothing. I went to Walmart a couple days ago. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. Hey, go Sam. I swear this box felt heavy. I really hope my kids ain't climb up and open this. Y'all, it was a little cracked a little bit when I went to Walmart, but... This is a nightmare before Christmas series cemetery kit. If you get this, check it before you leave now. You want me looking crazy like me? Because, y'all, this is all. This is all that came in the box. You know, I'm, I'm, it just really irritates me how Walmart do me. It really, this price should have been reduced or something. Like, dang. Oh, so, it said includes brownie mix. Okay. Got the brownie mix. Topping mix. I'm guessing that's what this is. Treat toppers. Nowhere to be found. And sprinkles. No sprinkles. But guess what? I think my kids must have got this stuff. Because ain't no way. This box felt heavy and everything. I got my own sprinkles. We ain't going to be able to make some brownies. So, y'all, this is going to be a sit and talk with me video, okay? I'm so upset. Walmart, stop playing with me. I'm already having problems with... Another uh spectrum. I'll talk about that another day. I don't matter of fact, I don't even want to talk about it over here, okay? So um listen y'all. The job I was telling y'all about on that video that I left before I went to this job that started paying me eight fifty. I got my check. Why my check is short? That time I sat there, that last day I was there from nine thirty to 11 11 30 yeah i ain't get a dime for that so and then another issue is the food stamp office is like hey we trying to reach them you have some proof you got pay stubs or something and i'm like no nah, i don't have nothing so i waited to the check hit and it was no pay stub attached when I logged into the website, it was no pay stub. It was just nothing there at all, nothing. Like, I was never even working for the company. So now I can't get food stamps because of them. Where is my pay stub? Where is it? So I get it that this company really don't like me. And they clearly got a bone to pick with me. But, baby, I don't care how much hate y'all got for me. Why not just upload my pay stub on the website y'all told me to look at when I, I was trying to ask y'all to make a document for me to write that I worked there, what days I worked there, what day I stopped working there. Y'all couldn't do that for me. But y'all can't even print out a pay stub for you, girl. I mean, upload it to the website, print it out, nothing. Y'all, y'all, let, 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 let me tell y'all. These people just really got something against me. And it's cool. Everybody ain't going to like you in life. You know, it is what it is. But y'all literally told me when I called y'all a week or two ago, it's going to be on your pay stub. We can't do nothing for you. We can't type nothing up for you. Just wait for your pay stub. So I waited. You know, I let y'all have it. I waited. Yeah, when I tell y'all, I was on the phone with this lady. Ma'am, y'all told me, <laughs> baby, I went to a thousand real quick. Like, I was really on that with her. I said, ma'am, I will come up there and make you print out this paperwork. Because why is my pay stub not up there? I feel like y'all just tried to play on my top. Y'all just tried to play on my top because y'all told me it was going to be there on Friday. Why y'all playing with me? I bet you everybody else got their pay stub. Why well, I don't have mine's? Make it make sense. Are y'all being racist towards me because I'm black? Like, what, what, what's going on? Or y'all just really don't like me, for real, for real. Which I don't care, but y'all gonna run me my coins that y'all owe me? 
and y'all gonna um give me my pay stuff because now my kids finna be low on food because of y'all this month. I'm going to the food bank this month because of y'all. Which I, I don't got no problem with going to food bank because y'all the food banks, y'all sleep on them. They be having the good stuff. Okay? The good stuff. And if you have to, you can go to multiple food banks to fill up your house. Mm-hmm. They told me. I just don't understand why my pay stuff wouldn't be uploaded. Yes, I'm making a big deal about my pay stub because it's my pay stub and I was expecting it and I really need it. And they're not returning calls to the food stamp office. They know exactly what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I'm no dummy. Very intelligent. Always been, always will be. But I don't want to go up there, y'all, because I don't know how I'm going to react when I get in their face. Mommy, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying, though, is I'm going to have to report them, y'all, because I'm pretty sure everybody else in that workplace got their correct paycheck. I know some folks that can make them really pay this money up. I do. So I'm not really tripping, but it's just messed up how people do you because they don't like you or you wasn't a good fit or whatever they may feel about you. They did wrong. Them little 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it don't matter how much y'all owe me. That money makes a difference. If somebody work for their money, whether they just sit in there, what, no matter what they doing, they owe their money. It's their money. Just give me my money, because what? Just give me my money. That's all I need them folks to do. I can go up there right now. They give me some money out the register. I'll leave it alone. I promise. I promise, but until then, I'm calling every day until they give me my money. Every day. It's ridiculous, y'all. I have never had so much trouble until I moved to North Carolina. Not blaming on North Carolina, but it's just so weird how these people are treating me, how they're acting when it comes to their jobs and all this other stuff. It's crazy. But um, I'm going to report it. They don't want to give me my pay stubs. They don't mess my food stamps up. So there's nothing left for me to do but report it. Why not? They hurt me. I ain't hurt nobody. It probably won't make a difference to their company. Their company probably going to still be good and still standing. They still going to get count clients coming in, you know, renting rooms a month. They, they're going to get millions, well, not millions, thousands and thousands of dollars every month. Um... It's a shame, y'all, but it is what it is. I'm going to move forward, handle my business, and um, they're not going to play with me. I'm going to get my food stamps back eventually, but it's just sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad and unfortunate. But, um, yeah, I just had to tell y'all about that, and I'm not settling for no BS, and that's why they fired me, because I wasn't with it. I ain't want to talk in a little corner with them. I wanted to be off to the side. That's not me. That's not why I come to work. I come to work to make some coins. And, you know, keep it moving. Not to, you know, like, what? Either way it go, they knew they was going to fire me the day before they fired me. So why let me come into work? Why even let me come into work without calling me, acknowledging me, hey, we decided we don't even want you here no more. Like, bro, you is not needed. Instead, y'all want to play, be fake, waste time, just be real. Keep that shit 100. We don't like how your attitude was. We don't like that you were standoffish. You got to go. We don't need that here. We don't like that energy here. But let's be real. Y'all be trying to sugarcoat shit. Well, mm -mm. I don't need that. Don't do it to me. I wouldn't do it to nobody. But yeah, y'all, I'm tired. I'm so tired once again. So that was it. I just wanted to inform y'all. The job ain't paid me. They paid me. But it got snatched from Dave. And they didn't pay me the whole amount. They didn't pay me the whole amount, so I'm on their ass. Come Monday. Oh, I'm getting on the phone with the folks. 
I don't even know the number up here for North Carolina, but I'm finna start looking. I'm gonna start looking and figure it out and all that. But be careful with these jobs, y'all. If y'all get that bad feeling about a job, follow it. Follow your intuition. You know why you feeling bad. You know it's time to get up out of there. Don't settle, y'all. I'm telling you. I was about to settle for this job. I can't believe it. My job that paid me $8.50 right now treat me better than that job was. It's ridiculous. But that's enough rambling, y'all. I can go on and on and on and on and on about this. Thanks for tuning in to Vlogtober Day 18. Make sure you guys hit the like, comment, and subscribe. All right? Peace.